you know uh, how many bits it goes up to? Six. Bits? No, no, no. It's no eight. It's eight bits. Eight, so eight. down to one. Okay, no. Eight, then, but you hear uh, only clearly the last bits. From from eight to seven, you can't hear. But we have a lot of uh, different modes. We have sure. sixteen different modes. Don't ask me in detail what the modes are doing because they are programmed by. applications like copper strong or flanging or things like that right. I would prefer the E100 in a way okay. because uh, this is this, this, this makes a very fat sound yeah, because you have the six taps and you, you, you can add uh, all, all, all the taps but if you want the typical BBD or flanging sound or copper strong I would prefer one of these but I, I in any case I like the shorter ones I don't like the long oh really yeah, yeah. Ah, nice but it depends <laughs> I will have to make a, a, a special patch because it's a easy. There's an easy way to suppress it if you uh, add a notch filter. Really? After after the uh, the output. Okay. And, and the notch is uh, the, the 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 clock frequency. Right. And 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 the the filter tracks to the to the really? BBD. You you can suppress uh, uh, the clock noise. Not completely, but right. but but. The VCF. Uh -huh. uh, this is an XP filter that means it's uh, the circuit of the Oberheim expand expander. This filter has available uh, 16 different uh, filter types. Oh. A sawtooth. Pass, two pole band pass, and so on. A lot of uh, band pass filters, low pass, high pass, all pass, and even notch filters. So there's 16 filters in there. Yeah, but eight simultaneously. Yeah. Uh, and that one's in production right now. It's going to be out. Not yet. It's, uh, it's uh, uh, the black knob means it's new. Oh. So, but it will be available soon. It's ready to sign. It will go into production in February, and I hope it will be available March or April. It's very interesting that you have uh, all these filters simultaneously available. Yeah. Like uh, that's a that's a two pole notch with a one pole low pass, for example. So it's a low pass with a notch in there. Or we have a three pole all pass with a. separate outputs sure and for, the, for that filter you can morph between right. filters 
So what you can do now is you can if the morphing control is at zero, right? You switch between different filters. Right, and that's instant if it's at zero. Yeah, that's instant. That means you you switch between filters. And if you increase the morph con the morph control, it's it becomes softer. Right. If you increase it to that way, it takes a few seconds. Right. Right. So you morph between two different filter types with an adjustable morphing time. And you have, after all, you have 36 different filters you can morph in between. And you can program filter sequences. That means you can say, at first I want a four pole high pass followed by a two pole band pass, then comes a three pole low pass, and then, and you can go through the different filters, either with a control voltage or with a clock, what, what you prefer. Oh, wow. That means you can, if, if you have a, a chain of filters, you can switch through this chain of filters with a clock that is uh, in sync with the sequencer, for example. For sure. Or you can use a control voltage to address the different filters. It's a manual control, you can you have access to each filter with a the manual control or with a sequencer right. or, or LFO, whatever you want. Sure. But so. after all, the, it's the, the filters of the XP uh, filter, but with a morphing feature.